was just a normal school day um, in spring, if I remember correctly. Me and uh, four of my girlfriends um, exited the school grounds to grab something to eat. School is different from where I'm from and we, we didn't have like a, a restaurant or a something similar where you can uh, grab food from inside the school so we had uh, a couple of um, bakeries and pastry shops and just like convenience stores near the school so after one of the classes we went uh, to grab something to eat and we've done so so we were just outside school grounds in this big intersection and we decided to go and look at the newspaper stand um, so there was a lady there selling newspapers and books and magazines and a lot of other things we were all there and we were chit-chatting and just, you know, enjoying our time together before going back uh, to class we had just a couple of minutes left when things started uh, to go weird so as I said it was in the middle of the day it was probably I don't know 11 or 12 um, in the morning and um, I was looking through uh, the books um, that uh, this lady had for sale and um, the way they were displayed they were just put one on top of the other so more can fit into the space and just uh, a bit of the title sometimes would be seen um, just from the way um, that they were positioned and one book caught my attention in particular um, it had a blue cover and I couldn't see um, what the full title was and I could just see messages from so I lifted the book that was on top of it so I can see the full title and it read messages from the other side in that very second and I kid you not this happened and we all witnessed it behind us so on the sidewalk behind us um, something dropped on the cement, like on, on the street and it startled all of us because no one was walking by no one was there and we just heard the noise so we turned and we saw a walking stick and it was just lying on the ground and it had like different carvings on it it was it was quite peculiar it was a wooden walking stick um, that had a couple of symbols on it I'm afraid I can't remember uh, I remember it too well because it was this happened probably more than 15 years ago so uh, we all looked at each other um, like the whole group of five girls we just we just looked at each other because we we didn't know what just happened and none of them actually saw me looking at that book only I knew that and um, we couldn't explain ourselves where did that come from and where where did it fall from like it fell from the sky so um, I didn't want to touch the, the walking stick but one of my colleagues she picked it up and she leaned it on the fence, on the school fence, just next to the newspaper stand. And I didn't think that was such a good idea because um, you don't know who, who it belongs to. Um, you don't know who touched it. I just, I, I just didn't want to have anything to do with it. Um, but something else, strangely, uh, happened at the same time. So. I have to take you back to imagine the scene where we actually heard the walk. 
walking stick hit the floor. So we all turned around, startled, and looked at it. But at the same time, it seemed like the time has stopped. Every single person, I told you this was a big in, um, intersection, so um, there were red lights, there were uh, cars, um, stopped at the red light, there were people on the other side of the street, not on, on our side, so there was no one around us, but there were people waiting to, to cross the street, and in that second, everything stopped, and everyone um, in that area, on, on an area of like 50 meters or so, started to stare at us, and we, we were being watched by all these people in the cars, from across the street, from everywhere. And we, we didn't know why. It was just very weird. And obviously I thought uh, nothing of it. I mean, sure, it is extremely weird. But at the same time, maybe we thought they also heard the, the stick fell and it made a noise, so... It may have been that that drew their attention. After we um, leaned the stick on um, on the fence, we left it there, and the school bell rang, so we had to go back to class. And we were all very quiet uh, throughout the class. And uh, again, I didn't know um, that my colleagues also had the same thoughts as me, like what just happened, what we just witnessed. As soon as the class was over, all the four girls that I have been with instantly left their desks and came to me and sat down next to my desk and asked me what happened. And I was perplexed, I, I had no words. I, why were they asking me? I had nothing to do with it. I was just staring at them, telling them, I don't know why you ask me. And then one of them said, um, I saw you looking at that book, um, the messages from the other side. I was like, yeah, I, I looked at it because I, I was curious, but I had nothing to do with this. And we all started to discuss what we had just experienced. We were thinking where the walking stick came from. Uh, we were just like in a investigating mode. And after a couple of minutes, we decided to run outside to check if the walking stick is still there. So when we got there, it wasn't. Uh, I'm assuming someone, uh, someone took it or it disappeared. I don't know. <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll leave that up for debate. Um, and we did ask the lady that was selling the newspapers if she saw who took the walking stick because it was right in front of her. And she said she has no idea what we're talking about. And we told her we left this walking stick here um, like an hour or so ago. And um, we were wondering someone just like... Uh, picked it up or looked at it or like did she put it somewhere and she had no clue whatsoever of what we were talking about we looked like crazy people crazy kids more like it and up to this day I have no idea how to even put this into words like was that a sign was that a message um, what did the symbols on the walking stick um, look like? Um, well, I can remember it was just like a normal-ish walking stick, but it had all sorts of carvings on it. So it wasn't like um, you could you could walk into a store and buy one. It was um, a bit more a bit more special in that aspect. Um, maybe it was. Um, handmade uh, specifically for someone but again I, I have no idea and also what was very interesting was how everyone just stared at us in that second 
it was just like the whole time stopped and uh, I thought again that only happened to me like I I saw things from that perspective and until I talked to to my friends I um, I didn't know that they were feeling the same way what we had encountered um, then and there it was surreal it was something I could someone would tell me this story um I would probably just brush it off or think they are exaggerating the facts or um that's maybe how they perceived it uh, but not that's how it happened um like I wouldn't I wouldn't make much sense out of it I still don't make much sense out of it even after all these years it was something that